Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to share with you another knife from um, brother, or should I say Ming Hong uh, Tool and Hardware Corporation Limited. So uh, this is probably a manufacturing plant and uh, we know and love here on uh, the channel the brother brand because they uh, will offer you a great value for your money so uh, this is one of the newest models the 1512 and uh, this is how it came i kept them as uh, they arrived just to show uh, if you see or you saw some of my previous videos about uh, brother knives they usually uh, keep them well well oiled up to protect um, in the warehouse or maybe in transit I don't know what's going on but uh, like I mentioned in my previous videos uh, usually if uh, if I buy the G10 or or uh, carbon fiber models then I have no problems if they are oiled up I can clean them fairly well and there is no problems but these new models and uh, these new models are offered in micarta and uh, if the micarta is drenched in oil so it will stain so I would love to to see the uh, the micarta without the oil but hey this is how it's uh, in the box if you receive it you can expect this and I will pause this video try to clean it a little bit up and continue with the presentation okay so see you soon okay so I'm back and let us see what the result is so uh, this is after a few passes uh, just uh, wipe it down with isopropyl alcohol and also I'm using EDC so this is the the color variant or should I say the the color of the micarta which is cleaned up and let us see the blade so The blade is also <laughs> nicely and soaked. Inside there is a little bit of oil, not so much. So let me wipe down also the blade just really quickly. Okay, so let me give you the uh, specifications like I usually do. So uh, we have the model 1512, uh, which comes in two variants. So this is the green micarta, uh, probably some kind of uh, canvas type micarta. Or you can choose from black G10. Uh, we have uh, blue G10 liners, uh, no bolsters on this design. Uh, we have a brass uh, exposed pivot pin and we have also a hot dog shield with uh, stainless steel tubing and two more pins to secure the uh, backlog and the frame we have blade stop uh, right there and the overall length is 19.5 centimeters or 7.7 .7 inches. We have blade length of 9 centimeters or 3.5 inches with a cutting edge of 8 centimeters or 3.1 inches. And the blade thickness is 3 millimeters on the stock, of course, here, which is 0 0.12 inches. The blade width is 1.9 centimeters or 0 0.75 inches uh, with a nice satin finish. The handle is 10.8 centimeters or 4.25 inches 
the handle width is 2.3 centimeters 0.9 inches and the handle thickness is 1.2 centimeters or 0.47 inches the blade is made out of 4 uh, 440c by now uh, brother produces uh, knives uh, in two steel variants so there are the cheaper ones in uh, 440c and uh, more expensive ones are made of uh, without uh, with a uh, g10 like i mentioned the handle is made up of micarta or g10 and both variants have blue g10 liners washers are copper paint construction so you cannot disassemble this knife without tools of course maybe if we have tools maybe you could some uh, somehow disassemble it but yeah the weight is 65 grams or 2.3 ounces okay so we have a really nice uh, clip point uh, style blade uh, i would it's a little bit hard with these uh, two sun knives to uh, to make an exact uh, uh, pattern variant or pattern type or pattern name uh, this is somewhere in between a Lenny's clip and a, a, a case of salt buster mm. Yeah, maybe if you if you know more than me about traditional American patterns, then you can uh, comment down below uh, which exact pattern or from which uh, manufacturer uh, is this one uh, taken um, so for size comparisons uh, let, uh, let me show you a few knives uh, here is of course the what comes probably the closest to the Lenny's clip from brother this is the model number uh, 1509 Lenny's clip um, should have a bolster so yeah then I have here the also a Lenny's clip variant from Rough Rider, which is the model uh, 2107. It's made out of aluminium. Also previously uh, shown here in the channel is the Brother 1505 Max, which is the larger version. As you can see, this one has a has a darker shade of, uh, of green, maybe because uh, it was a longer time, maybe in the in the warehouse and soaked in more oils than this one. This is really fresh, fresh. Okay, so here is the tribal lock from case for size comparison. Let me put this side. I have here also the rustic gent from Siwiwi. A trapper from Rough Rider. One of my favorites, the peanut from Rough Rider. Here is the Midnight Swirl Stockman from Rough Rider. And now let me continue with some more uh, known designs. Okay, let's continue with the small Griptilian. Here is the large Griptilian. Spider Codelica Kershaw Leak Kaba Dozier Red Model 2 
toothpick from back. So we have elementum. Spring Pro Back Vintage Pro and the model one eight seven from Tucson. Okay, so I don't know if I mentioned the weight. So the weight is 65 grams or 2.3 ounces. These, uh, the price are uh, really fair. It, they are set for 52 US dollars, but usually they are on sale for around 27 to under 30 dollars. You are getting a beautifully made knife. Uh, very good. Uh, quality a nice snap uh, let me show you the sharpness of course I usually forget this part so yeah these are nice and really really sharp so slices very well so I would say if you are looking for a nice traditional um, slip jot for your pound pouch or Let's also say uh, the fifth pocket, uh, coin pocket or watch pocket on your jeans and don't want to spend so much money. Then uh, this is a really nice option out there. The model 1512 from Brother. You can also choose from, uh, you can choose for uh, to go with the black Micarta, sorry, black G10 version. Yeah. So overall, I'm, I'm really happy with another great knife uh, from them and hope to see more uh, designs uh, soon okay so if you have any questions please leave comments down below i'm more than happy to reply as soon as i can i will also put uh, down below the the site where I, i'm buying them on, on aliexpress and uh, if you are a subscriber thank you very much if you are not then please consider subscribing I try to release at least three videos per week, mostly knife and gear oriented, but sometimes I saw other stuff like watches, books and Warhammer stuff and, and so on. So yeah, wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you soon. Bye.